hidden. Now tell us where it's buried. Ugh, put him on the plank, boys. We'll make this crazy sea dog talk. Out there we are. And you best talk by thunder, or you'll be food for the sharks. Curse you, Ben Gunn! Stop your play and answer me! Where's the treasure? Where it is, I cannot say. <coughs> but Captain Flint might show the way. <laughs> Give me your riddles and rhymes. You know full well Flint's been gone and buried all these years. Body, yes. <laughs> but spirit, not. And his returns to mark the spot. Whoopee! <laughs> what do you mean? Flint's spirit returns to mark the spot. Once a year, he leaves his rest. He does. To come again and seek the chest. On summer's moontide, he'll come round to plant his shovel in the ground. And then you'll know, boys, doubt this not, where the captain digs, X marks the spot. <laughs> you don't really believe this story about Flint's spirit returning to visit his treasure. Why not? Stranger things been seen on this here island, Long John. Enough of your mindless chatter. When the moon tide comes in two days, we'll be waiting for that ghost, understand? As if the tale be true, what better way to find the treasure than be brought there by the one who buried it? Psst, Ben! Hello there, Jim boy. What's new? Shh! I'm getting you out of here, Ben. As soon as I find the right key. Try that big one there. Who's there? Me. Who is it? I can't see. But I can hear you breathing. And I can smell you too. Ben. We've made 
predict. Get me wrong, Jim boy. I'm glad you're back, but you shouldn't have risked your neck. Not for that crazy Ben Gunn. Him with his ghost tails. Ha! I wouldn't believe a word that old sea dog says. Just look at him. He's lost his rudder. It's true, Ben appears crazy. But the point is, the pirates believe Ben's story. And perhaps we can turn their superstitions to our advantage. Just how do you mean, sir? I mean, dear squire, that Flint's ghost may be just the solution to getting those villains off the Hispaniola and away from the treasure once and for all. I believe I have a plan. See any ghosts? Nothing, Captain. Taint nothing live nor dead out tonight. Three hours we've been out in this here miserable jungle and nothing's happened. Just sit tight, mates. He'll be coming. Mark my words, he'll be coming. With a limp, I told you. Flint walked with a limp. He, he hunched and he limped, like this. Chapa, uh. Hunching and limping, sir. I mean hunching and limping since we started this fool's charade. And I've heard quite enough from the two of you. <laughs> oh, this is quite ridiculous, Livesey. This costume, as you call it, is the most disgusting rag I've ever had the displeasure to wear. Look here, Squire. I know this can't be easy for you, but you bear the closest resemblance to Flint. So therefore, in my opinion, that makes you our best hope for fooling those brigands and leading them back here to the trap. Well, if that's true, sir, then heaven help us all. What do I look like? Your mother! Captain? Look there! Ah, that's him all right. Wake up, ya dogs! He's here! Do you see it, mates? The very ghost 
ghost of Captain Flint himself, returned from the dead, just as Ben Gunn foretold. What am I doing here? How do I get myself into these situations? Did you see that long jump? Aye, Morgan. He's a clumsy ghost, he is. Look, he's up again. They're coming. Oh, this will never work. Why do I let them talk me into these things? Why? Well, that trap had better be set or heads will roll. Most likely mine. Hurry. They'll be here any moment. When those rascals try to dig up the treasure, we'll haul a lot of them up like codfish. Dr. Mimsy. They're coming. Hold it, mateys. This looks like the place. This had better work, Livesey. That's the spot, all right. Bogger, you know what to do. Oh, nice work. If I hadn't known better, I'd have sworn you were Flint himself. Keep it quiet. They're coming. That's right. Come closer, my friends. We have a big surprise for you. Well, me hearties, this must be the place. A wealthy man I... we are about to be. Yes, by thunder, very wealthy men. What the devil are they waiting for? Why don't they dig? Don't move, you dogs, or we'll run you through! Well, you have your answer, Livesey. What's our next brilliant plan? <laughs> well, well, well. So you thought you'd trap us, eh? Huh? Well, you thought wrong, my misguided friends. Guess you never reckon on big ear and rats squealing on you. <laughs> and now, if you would all kindly step aboard the X, please. Now, Suppose we see what old Flint's got buried in that there sand. Morgan, hoist away. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Looks like we caught us some real ugly fish, boys. What should we do with them? Throw them back into the sea. Yeah. No, it can't be. John! Luke! We can't be! What in blazes? Ah! Do you see it, Livesey? I do, Smollett. But I don't believe it. The ghost of Captain Flint. Shiver me so, Ben Gunn was right. It's Flint, or at least the ghost of him. I know that limp anywhere. It's going for the chest, me buckos. Come on, the treasure awaits. Buckos! Come back here, you cowards! To blazes with them! What's their loss is Johnny Silver's gain. Indeed, a very rich man I'm about to be. That ghost is taking Silver straight to the chest. And here we hang like a bunch of coconuts. You and your infernal plan, Livesey. See where it's got us? Do something, man. There it is. That's right, you old ghost. Show me where you hit the chest. Where'd it go? It had to come this way. But it ain't here. This spirit's beginning to annoy me. Well, what do you see? Not a thing, Captain, sir. Whoa! 
Fuck's the trouble, boy! Give it up, Squire. You can't gnaw through rope. But, but the treasure! He'll find the treasure! Yes, and once Long John has it, he'll be back on the ship and headed for England. And we'll be left marooned. Then it's hopeless. What the devil happened? <laughs> What's the matter? You seen a ghost? <sighs> I'm exhausted, Rat. Don't a ghost ever rest? This way, all right. These are certainly Silver's footprints. Oh, yes, but where are the ghosts? <sighs> you were born with a head, Smollett. Try using it. What ghost leaves a footprint? Oh, uh, oh, the oh, oh, yes, I see. We must hurry. Dawn will soon be upon us, and it is my opinion that Flint Spectre will then be returning to wherever he came from. Right, show me where it is, Flint. X marks the spot. We're very close, my furry friend. We're very, very close. I've got a strong feeling that Flint's treasure is about to become mine. Look there. It's getting ready to dig. This is it, rat. was well into dig. The treasure must be around here somewhere. The sun's rising. It's rising and we ain't found the chest. Where the blazes is it? Maybe here. Or here. Or what about over there? There's Long John. Yes. And it seems he hasn't had much luck. Uh, sir, where's Flint's ghost? Difficult to say, Captain. It could be the... I want that treasure, Flint! You hear me? Tell me where you hid that chest right now! Come back here, you spook! Don't you disappear on me! Well, my friends... So much for Flint's ghost. <sighs> and so much for our chances of finding the treasure. Don't worry, Squire. One of these days we'll dig up that chest. And without the help of any spirits, I promise you. Uh, come on, Jim boy. The doctor's right. It's time to go home. <laughs> <laughs> 